Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we doing today? Uh, today I'd like to show you a find that I did at a flea market. A couple of weeks ago I went to a local flea market here in St. Augustine and um, found some old tools. Went back there this weekend and found some more and I'd like to show you um, what I've found. I've been searching around for some old tools, stuff that I'm actually not going to be using. I want to display here. Now, at this flea, local flea market, I found, um, it was from three different vendors, and everything that you see here, right here on this table, I paid a $130 for. Okay, first thing that I found was a Miller Falls um, five and a half plane. In very good condition, the blade, uh, besides being greasy, little sawdust on it, blade has no chips in it. Wood's in good condition, no rust on it. I also found a Stanley Bailey number no. 7 jack plane. Also in very good condition. Blade has no chips, very little rust. Wood's in good condition. Everything seems to be straight on it. Just going to clean it up and put it on the display. I may end up using this one. Okay, I found three screwdrivers. Yankees. Not Yankees, but... This one is actually a Yankee. Uh, they did try to polish up the brass a little bit, which kind of made it a little bit dull. Then this one here is a Craftsman, but made in West Germany. And this one is a Stanley Yankee. This one even has an Orga bit on it, which actually works. Um, they all work. They're all in very good shape. The wood's in good shape. This one's all metal. And this one actually has storage inside of the handle here. And there's a couple of more bits in there too. Okay, I found this hammer. Uh, the name is partially grounded off. Looks like an old tennis style hammer, but it's a nice little hammer. Um, clean it up, get a wedge in here, clean up the metal. Uh, I'll probably use this hammer. Then this uh, tongue or cutter also works. Didn't spray it, nothing. It was like a dollar. Then this bracelet bit, which is actually um, a Stanley, made in USA. Yeah, everything seems to be working on it. It moves. All of the wood is in good shape. Doesn't leave a lot of rust on the back side here. But this is all for display purposes. Then this here, this rabbit plane, it's a, uh, an old Harbor Freight. This was like $5. It came with, had with the screwdrivers. Uh, never used. All the parts seemed to be in it. It was just sitting there on the table. I just figured I'll pick it up. I don't know what I'll use it for. I don't know how good it is, but... We'll see. But this thing, this thing here, five bucks. Craig Jig. I mean, it's a little worse for wear. A little, quite a bit rusty on the, the piston, the clamp. And it's only got one of the, um, you know, the hold down piece or the stop piece. But I could probably get another one from Woodcrafts. But, yeah, good shape. Five bucks. Can't beat it. All right. My birthday present. I'd like to give a big shout out to Woodcraft of Jacksonville, uh, Billy for getting this in for me, and also for a new worker there, Matt, who was very professional, helping me find it in the back and going over, making sure everything was there. All right, I basically uh, bought my, I think my last festival purchase. Um, it is the Domzilla, the DF 700. Domino. Now, I did hem and whore about pit buying it, mentioned it in a few videos, but with the Dungeons and Dragons table that um, I'm building for Big Daddy Games, and I went to a tournament yesterday of another, uh, he's actually one of my customers, D20, who's also interested in a table, I kind of designed a way for the leg system and the rail system that will connect it. Um, I'm going to use it as a domino, but also I want to be able for this system, this table, to be taken apart and moved to a new location when and if one of those two stores happen to move, because the table is going to weigh quite a bit. And what I decided on doing is I did purchase the uh, the DSXL, which is the 12 and the 14 millimeter domino box set. 
but I also purchased the SV SYS D14 system, which is the um, removable anchor system. And these are the parts of the system. This, this is the part that you would basically use it to do like a rail and a style for like a bed or a headboard or a door, something that you want to remove. It starts with this transverse expansion anchor and then a bolt. The bolt screws into the transverse anchor. Now, I'm not going to screw it in all the way because as you can see, when you screw it, it spreads these two into, a, on, into the 14 millimeter domino connection that you made. You're going to stop it so that the uh, curve part, you have the flat part, is facing up. Then on the, once it's in there and expanded, you put this plastic, these plastic, they actually turn this into a domino. And you, there we go, you clip it on. So now it turns this into a domino. Now, you take this locking bracket, you, you drill another 14 millimeter into the other side, and then you drill a 14 millimeter by 50 millimeter deep hole down straight. You drop this in, and then you put the two pieces together. Now, you're also going to drill, or mortise, another 14 millimeter so that you could use a regular domino so that they will line up like this. Now, depending on how big the board is, you could have a domino, a domino, and a connector, or a domino in the middle, and two connectors. But you need at least a domino and a connector. And that prevents the, the piece from racking. Because even when this is tight, the piece could rack. This is gonna prevent it from racking. And you glue only one side. So it'll stay one side, but the other side will be able to come out. So you're gonna glue it in, you're gonna let it set, you're gonna clean up the glue, and when you assemble it, you take the provided Allen key that comes with the system and as you lock this down you'll hear clicking and it draws the joint together. Now you have a solid joint that you can basically almost run a truck over. And if it needs to be, like say you built a bed, you can actually take the frame apart by loosening this and popping out each piece. And when you get it to the new location, put it right back in, you lock it in. It's like the glorified pieces that you get from, uh, what's that Swedish company, um, Ikea, when you put those, um, you, you, those, those hutches and, and desks together. It's like a glorified version of that, but it fits off of their 14 millimeter domino system. Also, all of the measurements for all the cutting, and it, the, just depending on the thickness of your wood, is all of the markings that are preset on this domino system. Okay, YouTube. Um, I all, you all had a very nice Memorial Day, and um, I will see you on the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.